guys, Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And this will be the final installation of my makeup declutter series. Um, this is going to be my loose powders, pressed powders, and bronzers. And I just want to tell you that I feel so good getting rid of all this and getting a lot of this out of my collection. It just makes me feel so much lighter and just so much better. And I'm going to continue to go through things. Um, I want to go through my nail polishes and my skincare and body care. And did I say skincare? But anyway, and um, do that. But I'm going to do that at a later date because I don't want to overwhelm myself and make it feel uh, like a task and kind of take away the joy that I am experiencing right now on getting rid of a lot of this stuff. So um, thank you so much if you have um, stuck with me through all of them. I do apologize for the quality of the filming. I know I'm not very good at doing this. I'm used to being in front of the camera and for my camera being stable and having a better focus on it. But you kind of get you get the gist of what in what I've done and what I've accomplished. So anyway, let's move forward with this so that we're not here all evening and we'll get started. So I'll start over here first with my my loose powders, which is all over here. And I will tell you that all of them, with the exception of this elf one right up here, with the exception of this one, those are all bare minerals. Um, they are probably like the um, the mineral veils is pretty much what all these are. Yeah, mineral veil. Um, this is a foundation. I guess this should have been. I didn't do a foundation. I didn't have that many foundations to declutter. So, um, but this is a powder foundation. A mineral veil. Another powder foundation. And then this is an under eye setting powder. But it's just too yellow for me. So those are going to be going away. Most of those were, again, once again, in um, kits from QVC. And I will tell you, I do not watch QVC anymore. I haven't watched QVC probably in over, in over two years. And I haven't ordered anything from QVC in that long. I just, as you can see, I got way in over my head with too much makeup and kits coming. Anyway, so... Now the pressed powders I have is I have one here from Jordana, um, another one from Bare Minerals, a Laura Geller, an Estee Lauder, and this I'm just doing because it is way too light for me, and then one from Kiko. And then bronzers, which is what's next, so I have these three here from e.l.f. that I'm going to be getting rid of. And then I have this one here. Gosh, what is this one? I think this was a, a Maybelline. And then one for another Maybelline. Don't use them. I have this one here from Revlon. It was discontinued and I found it at Big Lots. And was so excited because, you know, everybody was talking about how they really liked this. I was so disappointed that it was discontinued and I just didn't really care for it. Then I have one here from Bare Minerals. This is just way too dark for me. It's called the, the High Dive and it has some sheen in it. Then I have one here from Milani, which is um, number seven Cena Baked Bronzer. And a cream one from Sonia Kashuk. And I'm just not one for cream bronzers. And I have one from Chanel, so I'm just going to get rid of my Sonia Kashuk one. Then I have a Wet n Wild Bikini Contest. And then uh, one from Bilan Bilani. Milani, which is a, a double one. I guess there's a bronzer and then there's also a, um, a highlighter in that. Well, if you can call it a highlighter. It's just a lighter color. Anyway, I don't think I even, I think I swatched it and that was it. And then this one here from Milani. The packaging on this is so pretty. And I just bought this, but I know I'm not going to use it. So I'm going to pass it on. So anyway, that is it for the decluttering of my makeup. 
um, I will put on the screen probably about this time a total count of all of the products that I got rid of but looking at my list here I can tell you it's way it's well over 200 pieces of makeup that I've taken out of my collection and that makes me feel extremely pleased with myself when finally um, getting brave enough to to just let go of some of this stuff instead of just keeping it knowing that I'm not using it, it was causing me stress knowing that I wasn't using all of my products so I, I feel good about this because it's going to go to some people that I will use it and um, instead of just sitting in my drawer collecting dust most of this stuff I have moved twice now and I don't want to have to move it again so that is part of my inspiration definitely on um, getting rid of some of this stuff anyway thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoy and I'll talk to you soon